What is up guys? My name is Mark Samaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog guys. Today we're gonna play with something that's a little bit different. We're playing with an RC bulldozer. I know that's weird. The reason why I got this is because my local hobby shop or one of my local hobby shops, Indy RC World, my track local hobby shop, you know, Indy. Indy, I race in Indy. They got a load of these. I think they got like six of them and they said they sold out the day that they got them. And I want to see what all the fuss is about. So here it is. I call it an RC bulldozer. I guess it's a, a 950M wheel loader. It's got a front loader on it. We're going to bust it out in a second. But these things, this is a cheap one. This one I think is only like 115 bucks, 120 bucks. But these things can go really, really expensive. They have bigger ones like the 10 scale versions that go for thousands and thousands of dollars and they're super heavy. We're going to see how heavy this one is now. Turn the scale on. This is in, in the box, obviously. So but I'll give you an idea. It's not that heavy. It's only four pounds, two ounces, not that heavy. So this isn't super heavy, but we're gonna see how it performs. We're actually, we're actually gonna go try to move dirt with it, but let's get it out of the box first. Real quick, before we bust it open, here are the different movements. It looks like this is a can turn, go forward and backwards, and only go up and down. So I guess this is fixed, but we will find out. Uh, box panels, you guys have said you don't really care, but it looked like it had, it had sound. Is that what that said? It said it had sound? Sound functions, oh man, this thing's legit. Oh my god. Oh man, we gotta wait for this thing to charge. Oh no, it's got a little rechargeable battery pack. Here's the rechargeable battery pack. Looks like a USB charger and just this little itty bitty battery. We're gonna go and put that on the charge now, just in case. I don't want to run out of daylight. We might be running out of daylight soon. All right, we're charging. There we go, got it. Instructions, batteries, car, remote. Oh, I guess the, this is up here is what controls the, the front loader. That's pretty cool. So here it is. It looks really cool. Lots of cool details. Like there's not a guy inside. There's just the seat inside, but look at all the details, the railing, the smokestack. Looks really, really good. It is a decent weight. I think there is some die cast on it, but here it is. I pulled out a slash. Here it is next to a slash so you can kind of understand the size. It's definitely not 10 scale. Actually, it says it on the box. It says it is 24th scale. So here's the front. It looks like there is an actuator, something that moves this. I guess this is the part that lifts the dirt up. This also, actually it's probably just this piece. Anyways, we'll find out here in a little bit. It does pivot on this piece right here, so that's how it steers, just like the real deal. But this thing is licensed. I mean, <laughs> you gotta give them that. This is licensed by Caterpillar. Actually, is it licensed by Caterpillar? Or is it Cat? Is that a little bit different than the actual Caterpillar? You guys tell me, in the comments below, tell me if this is actually licensed by caterpillar if that's the actual caterpillar logo i think it is but here's the back of it okay we got to drive this thing i'm waiting for the batteries to charge
All right, guys, I found myself having an abnormal amount of fun with this thing. All right, so I'm gonna turn the sound off. Okay, so one thing is it looks like the front loader might have like a stripped gear or something. Like, watch it come down, it kind of comes down fast. And then when it comes back up, see, it kind of skips a little bit, skip a little bit there again, skip a little bit there again, and then finally it goes up. So that's a little weird. Obviously, it can't lift that much. I tried to lift the slash, it couldn't do it. I tried to lift the camera, it couldn't do it. So that's more for aesthetics than anything. I don't think you're going to get any actual work done. Um, but nonetheless, we are going... See, it keeps... Why, do, why does it do that? Why is it popping down? It's like I stripped a servo or something. There we go. We'll just roll it like that. All right, we're going to let it charge a little bit longer, and then we're going to go do some actual work. We're going to drive it <laughs> in some dirt and see what it does. All right, we're out here at the playground. We decided to get it delivered because it is heavy machinery, right? We don't want to... We couldn't bring it up here ourselves, so we're waiting for the delivery guy to get here. Oh, there he is! Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is coming in hot! Uh, why, why is our delivery guy going so fast? Oh my god, don't hit the curb. Believe, believe. Oh, he hit the curb! <laughs> this guy drives like a straight banshee. What is happening? Oh, just get it here in one piece. Get in here in one piece. Oh, what is he doing? Wait, what is he, what is he, no! Oh my goodness, that was so <laughs> close. So the first test is to see if we can move that little mound of dirt right there. Uh, we don't care where we move it. We just want to see if it will pick it up and move it around. So let's cross our fingers. First problem, we got stuck. All right, change of plans. We have to move on to the short grass because it will not move through the wood chips. Yeah, it's not four wheel drive. It's only rear wheel drive, so it just didn't get the traction. So here we are on the short grass. All right, so the verdict is in. It will move the wood chips. Those wood chips are really, really light. That front loader, it can't lift very much. Like, it, it won't even go, it was hard for it to go out with just that little bit of load. So it's obviously not equipped to do like actual work. I think it would be fun to have this thing in your house to maybe move Legos around. I think that would be really fun. Um, but in regards to like bringing it outside to the park and moving stuff around, uh, the other thing is you can't articulate the front loader. When I say articulate it, what I mean is like you can't tilt it down. It would be nice if you could tilt it down and maybe scrape the ground to pull some some stuff up. Uh, it, it's kind of fixed. It only moves based on how high it moves. So 
That's kind of lame. Like, move it all the way up, Ethan. And yeah, that, that front servo's got to be stripped or something. But you see how that front loader isn't angled down? It just kind of moves up. It will only angle down if you go up really, really high. And if you have a lot of load in there, it won't go really, really high. Like, that's the only way you can unload stuff in there. Also, I don't know if the real one in real life is four-wheel drive. This one is not, so it doesn't get good traction. So you can't really go in a lot of dirt. It's only short, short grass. But I think it's really cool. And for 120 bucks, I think it's, it's a lot of fun. I think it's 120. I'll put a link in the description below for this thing. I think it would be really fun inside the house. Like I said, if you had a toy room with a lot of Legos, uh, you're watching the kids and you wanna play and you wanna move some Legos around, I think that'd really be really fun. But that front loader, it, it can't handle much. And yeah, it's already stripped. The lights are kinda cool. So the lights will basically turn on whenever you move forward and back, whenever you turn. Uh, same with the tail lights. It's got tail lights back here. We'll move around the side. See the tail lights are pretty cool, but yeah, overall, it's pretty sweet. I think it's pretty fun. It kind of makes me want like a heavy, a heavy duty one, like a big one, like one of the thousand dollar ones, multi thousand dollar ones to see if we can actually do work. Cause I could see how moving dirt around would actually be pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, one super cool thing about it is loading on the back of the hauler. I think that looks sick and hitting this jump. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna hit it. Ethan's shooting. Ethan's my YouTube short guy, by the way. Uh, if you guys start seeing more YouTube shorts, because Ethan makes them, and we're shooting one right now, so here we go. It's hard to drive with one hand. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap. I think it's a pretty cool car. Car, not really car, RC. It's a really cool RC. If you wanna tamper around and get the, get the want and the need and the urge to buy some heavy machinery RCs, this is a good one to start because it's not super expensive and you still kind of get the feel of one. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see us next time. If there are any other RCs you want me to try out, I'm not a specialist at the heavy machinery RCs, but I thought this one was really, really cool. If there's any other ones you want me to try out, please tell me in the comments below. Maybe I'll pick one up and give it a shot. So, all right, guys, see y'all next time.